Hey guys, my name is Animal. Welcome to a point-click mystery game called Midnight Scenes. Um, I've, I don't really know much about this game. Only it reminds me a lot of um, the Twilight Zone, which is a really old show that was in black and white that I've watched a couple times. Not very much, but it's on Netflix, so I really do want to watch it more. Just because every single time I have watched it, it's been very, very interesting. And despite like the age, it's it's still really good, which I'm super surprised about. All right. Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tight floor. A flat tire delayed Claire's trail. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Wow, that's a horrible radio. Can we please turn that off? Oh, there you go. Yep. Cool. What's going to happen? Tonight's episode of The Highway. That's also a lot like the um, Twilight Zone. They have the uh, tonight's episode and they have the title name of the episode. It's really, really cool. Ooh, a telephone wire fell down. An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Clara. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she knows there's a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. All right, um, what should we do? Oh, okay, that's probably not a good idea. If we reach out, we touch the electrical wire. That could probably kill us. Um, that guy is creepy. That looks like a little boy with his eyes blacked out. Kind of looks like a zombie just because of the way the mouth is shaped. I don't know why the I don't know why it's X out though. It seems really tattered as well. Can we do something with the car? Mm, no, just sitting there. I don't know why we would want to just go back in our car and sit in it. Um. Oh, it's the same guy. Oh, we can open this. Um, I'm not gonna do that yet though. Let's check these. It's the same boy, it's just ripped. It's like someone really hated him or something. Can I click? There you go. It's the same boy. It's just different pictures of the same dude. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> oh, crap. That must be the car that knocked down the telephone pole. Obviously, it's literally sitting right there. Why is the car in the grass, though? Why was the telephone pole inside the fence? I don't think that's very smart to put there. Ooh, lots of blood and glass. Oh, that's the boy that's missing. Ooh, that's kind of morbid. Seeing all the pictures of the missing boy and then seeing all the blood and glass. Wow, we. Um. Okay, we can take some rope, blankets, what's in, a hammer. This is locked. That's all we can take. Some nifty, nifty tools there. Um, what is that? Oh, that's a scarecrow. Okay, so the scarecrow's arm moves. Maybe it does something, and the scarecrow's broken. But. Why is there blood in the scarecrow? That's not creepy at all. Maybe we can put the arms back on. Even though it doesn't really seem like a good enough arm for a scarecrow like this. Maybe we tie it on with the rope. There you go. Cool. Um, what do we do with this? Wait. Okay, that moves it. Did that do something? Hmm. Let's move it there. No. Move this one here? Oh, we can move that one. No. Uh, do this. Oh, something opened. Cool. Hey, I did it. Cool, cool. Why would they have the scarecrow to open the fence? Especially because that fence is pretty short, so you could just hop the fence in the first place. It doesn't seem very logical, but it's a game, so I'm going to stop trying to use logic. Ooh. Ooh, that's a creepy house, and that's a lot of beer bottles. Oh, that's the same family. Ooh, that's really weird looking at these. And then also looking at the boy outside who seemed to be missing. 
and with the bloody pictures and glass and things like that. Can you look on your TV? Mmm. Nope. Just a lot of a lot of heavy static. That's what I like to see. That was a dead man. Yep. All right. Don't want to go there. <laughs> um. What can we do out here? Oh, it's a treehouse. It's here. Oh, it's where they bury their dog. Um. Oh, can you pick this up then? Yeah. And put it there. Right. But it just falls. Oh, wait. There was a nail on here. Maybe we can take this off. Yeah. And take the nail. And take the board. I'm gonna guess that we have to do... Wait, no, no, stop. That? There you go. Hey, combining inventory. Sick. I actually know how to play games. Wow. Okay, now we can get the lantern. That's there. I'm guessing what we're trying to get. Yeah. So we can see what the dead... Uh, why would you want to see the dead body, though? How would that help solve anything of use? Oof. That guy is dead. Hmm. Creepy. What? That's the dad. What happened? Oh, key. Oh, well, that's gonna open. Is that it? Ugh. Don't want to be there. Maybe you go back out? Maybe the key unlocks the thing in the, the truck. Um, were they... They weren't pliers. I don't know what they were. Um, the wire clippers, whatever they're called. Oh, drag. Yes, there you go. Cool. Okay, so... What does that do? Mm, try to go back out to where our car is. Oh, we... Yeah, okay. So come back this way. Um... Can we open the trunk? No. The hood? Nothing. Ooh! Oh! Maybe we can cut the wire. There you go, that fixes our problem. Cool. Now we can call for help, maybe. Because that's what we were supposed to do in the beginning, but we couldn't. Why is a tree down as well? That's a huge... Wow. I don't like that. What happened? Did like every single... Just... Every tree fell, o fell over and every car crashed that night or something? Oh, it's a... Ring dial, is that what it's called? I don't know what they're called. I never had one of those. I had. I always had the... um. I had the landlines. That's as old as I went back. And it's static, so it well that would make sense because the telephone wires are down. Oh, what are you? Okay. Um. What? Is that the little boy? Oh, that's the little boy. Oof. Oof. I don't like that. Not at all. Not at all. Ooh. Claire Barnes, age 29. With the great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen po power pole to resume her journey. She still terrified. She stopped in front of. The she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform them about the disturbing event she had just witnessed. Nothing about the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. No signs of a crash or in the presence of any mysterious kid. What? Oh, that's really weird. The man living in the farm was found, a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life trying to convince herself that she was crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. I May mean, not seen the highway. Whoa. <laughs> no, that's so cool, though. I really like that ending. Oh, uh, that's super cool. 
it, it's just it's weird how only she could see it. That happens in a lot of horror movies that I've seen at least, or that like only one certain character can see like the supernatural thing that's going on in like front of her. When she tells anyone else, it like immediately disappears, or immediately it's, it's just not there when else whenever someone else tries to like find her or something. That's super cool though. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. So if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.